There's my little uh, yard cart to pull it around with the golf cart. And as you can see, I hope, the uh, these tires, they're not that old, but they're so thin that they, they just don't hold up. Every time you go to use it, it's flat, or you, I've, I've replaced the, the wheels, then I put tubes in them, but they always, they always get, uh, get punctured. So, I bought a pair of these. I guess I should probably, so I bought a pair of these. These are solid. There's no air in them. So once you get them on there, they should be good to go. And I have the tool. So let's uh, let's get this thing flipped over and and get it changed out. Yeah, it's just aggravating. It takes you 20 minutes to see if it's going to work or not, and then you end up going to the hardware store, getting a new. Uh, new set of wheels for it, but, and they shouldn't be that hard to change, hopefully it's the right size, well, I'm going to know in just a second here, but, uh, these are also, uh, what they call sealed bearings. You don't see any grease fittings, as you can see on this one. There's a, what they call a grease fitting or zerk fitting. So that was pretty easy so far. And survey says, keep that down, tap it in, bend it. That's done. Easy peasy. All right, one more. Yeah, these, uh, those things are hateful. <laughs> I've got them on there, and then I've got them on a, uh, on a double wheel wheelbarrow. And it's always the same, same thing. Whenever you, uh, whenever you go to use it, it takes you half a day to get it where you can use it. Look, I just want to take this cart and go pick up a little brush and stuff with my golf cart after it quits charging it's pretty low right now but yeah as you can see that one is that one tubeless no I put a tube in this one too so like I say it's just a just a big hassle every time you go to use it. Let's see if I can get this straightened out. Let's see here. Straighten it a little more. This one's a little bit stubborn. There we go. Pop that out. Get rid of old flatty. And put old newie. Pretty cool. What'd that take? Ten minutes? And we should be how you say good to go. Yeah, these these will go to the landfill, it's a shame, but watch out, Jess. Jezebel. Move, move baby. I know you're all interested. She's not interested in what I'm doing. She's interested in 
Oh yeah. We got. This is almost like uh, making fire. Cool. And I bought this. Uh, I bought this little trailer off a of scrap metal guy for ten bucks. I don't know how many years ago. I mean, these things are actually a little pricey, but it's it actually dumps here too. You hit that lever and you can dump stuff, but it's great for the yard. Like I've got a couple holes along my seawall that need to be uh, filled in, so I'll shovel some dirt in there and then I'll go and uh, dump it in the holes so you don't flip the lawnmower off into the canal. All right, next, let's take a look at the wheelbarrow. I'll be right back. Well, these are a little bit different. The uh, They've got this offset, it's three inch offset on each side, and this just has like a, a pin, and there's a washer, and the shaft, uh, the shaft size is smaller, uh, stay. Anyway, this diameter is smaller than the one on the on the cart. So, watch out, babe. That keeps it from rubbing on the wheelbarrow. And where are you? There you are. So, that's one. Like I say, this, I'm just so tired. I don't know how many times I've replaced those those uh, wheels with the air in them, but it's like uh, too many. Watch out! You don't want to get. Watch out, Jess. Move. She's uh, she's very very focused. Looking for the deadly Lizard. That one came off there. And hopefully, yeah, I did not by design. But what you got to remember is put that grease fitting towards the outside. Well, my bride should be happy. And I'll grease these up. Call it Wayno. Uh huh. Yes, sir. We'll take them. And these will go to the landfill. What a shame. Nothing wrong with the rims, but it's cheaper to buy the, the whole assembly than try and buy tires and all that. Okay, that was it. We've got a happen in here. Wheelbarrow and cart tires are complete I just noticed that there's some play on these wheels back and forth here but the adjustments there are all the way in so I can adjust those out and take care of some of that play Anyway, I'll do that when I go to grease these. I got other things to do right now, though.